that sill right there. I just picked up this stack of games right here. I know it's dark. Um, when you don't wake up early, you get people like that guy right there who um, come in even earlier and try to beat you. Uh, there was a Sega Saturn here. Uh, luckily, no games, so really, really uh, relieved about that. But um, this goes to show you guys that um, <laughs> there's people hunting early. So um, try to get there early when you're, when you're hunting. So anyways, guys, see you guys next time. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning. Decided to pull over real quick. Um, yard selling today. It is uh, six o'clock in the morning. Hopefully, I find some stuff. There's three community sales out today, so um, hopefully, I found lots of stuff. We'll see if I do. But I'm really, really excited, and hopefully, I find some stuff. Like I said, I'm looking for uh, Game Boy stuff and some DS stuff, and hopefully, some GameCube stuff. Um, probably not gonna happen and some Super Nintendo stuff too actually now that I think about it uh, if it doesn't happen oh well but I mean I, at least I hope I find something because lately I've been lacking on, on finds um, I'm still grateful for everything I find but I mean I would really like to find something great so anyways guys uh, if you if I find anything you'll see it after this Not knowing if they work or not, would you do 40? For everything? Yeah. They all work. Okay. All of it. All works. Okay. I, I've had I've had it hooked up before. How about 50 for everything? Sure. So right there, I just picked up this N64 and Sega Genesis bundle. Um, I said 40, he said 50. That was okay. I think it's Super Mario's in there. I haven't checked if there's an expansion pack yet. Let me see. No expansion pack, so pretty good deal though. For uh, 50 bucks for both a Sega Genesis and N64. So, anyways, guys, see you guys next time. That's definitely sure. I know. Memories of your building. No, he, he was, saying, some. He was like, saying that he was interested in Game Boys. I'm like, well, my wife had brought one out. Oh, well. <laughs> but I don't okay. know if, I, like I was saying, I don't know if I would sell the. I could offer you like 25 for everything if you wanted. <laughs> no, I think I'll hold on to You're it. You're going to hold on to it? I am going to hold on All to right, it. Alright, but I'll take that game for sure. Okay. okay. You wouldn't sell that one? Uh, no, Super Mario World, no. I'll hold on to that one too. Motocross Madness. You even brought that out. You Alleyway, what is this? I don't remember. Would you? Oh, you know, yeah, you that you know what that one is like. It's no. like pong. Oh, it is. You know, but not pong. You know what I mean? I'll try it out. It's like you know, it goes back and forth type mm -hmm. of situation. All right. How, how much for both? How about five dollars for both? Uh, that works. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> no problem. Swing by again next year. You never know. I will. I may have been over it by then. You guys just saw that? That's all right. There. I just got Gargoyles Quest. Gargoyles um, for uh, Game Boy, so that's a pretty sought after Game Boy game right there. And also got Alleyway thrown in for five bucks. So, pretty um, reason I'm pausing right here is because um, you remember that story with that lady that took a picture and said, What the hell am I doing here? It kind of just happened again with a guy, he was in a truck, he seemed kind of drunk. Um, and he was just like, what are you doing here? I was like, oh, you know, I'll tell you more. I'll tell you more in the pickup video, but it was kind of annoying. But um, uh, someone actually came and helped me this time. So uh, really, really cool. So I'll tell you guys that in the pickup video. But I'm um, just weird, weird stuff happening. <laughs> anyway, see you guys in the, uh, in the next sale. I got this big box of uh, Xbox games. And then I also got this box of toys. There's a Millennium Falcon and a bunch of other stuff. So he said 50 bucks for everything. And um, I couldn't refuse. So. Anyways, guys, see you guys next time. So right there, I just picked up this big bundle of uh, DS games. Uh, there's some Pokemon games in here. They're all priced like 15 and then 15 and 10. But uh, he said, you know what, just take the whole stack for 40, and I decided to do it because um, I could easily throw money back and keep some games. So anyways, guys, uh, see you guys next time. All right, guys, so a successful day of garage selling today. Uh, found lots and lots of stuff. Uh, some toys, I didn't expect to find that. Um, Star Wars toys was pretty cool. Uh, some Xbox stuff, some PlayStation stuff, so pretty cool finds. Um, I think I'm going to be calling quits because I'm out of money and I don't want to take any more out of my bank. I shouldn't really. I'm trying not to spend um, a lot of money on... Um, I'm trying to save money. I'm trying to move out of my house, so I can't spend too much. But I, I did spend like 120 I think, today. And uh, I should be making that back and keeping some cool stuff. So anyways, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, don't forget to check out my Instagram. Because, again, that's where you'll find uh, the pickups before I 
post them on YouTube. Um, you guys can get a sneak peek on what I find. So, anyways, guys, uh, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and be sure to check out the pickup video right after this. Um, also, uh, the rant about that guy. See you guys next time. That's so right there. I just picked up this, uh, this these two game boards, board games. One sealed, the rummages, and then uh, we. Uh, I think you see the Wii board underneath it. There's some games. Uh, the Wii, the system, like two controllers, and the Wii board was all 20 bucks. So, and then another one dollar for those two board games. So, pretty pretty decent deal. Hey, what's up, everyone? Graham here, uh, back with another garage sale pickup video for you guys. And this time, uh, I went to a community sale. Um, there was three community sales listed on Craigslist and on Facebook. So I um, I want I was planning to go to all three. I ended up just going to one and spending all my money at that one. Um, before I start showing you the pickup videos, if you saw an, the in-car footage, you would have heard me say that I dealt with some similar situation that I did with another <laughs> with another sale I had a couple uh, videos ago. Um, this time it was a guy. Um, I was uh, I went there early because uh, the last community sale I went to was a bust, and it was a local community sale. Um, what, what, was, what had happened was I went there and I started asking people for video games and someone was like, oh, you're the third person, you're the second person. And, you know, I asked them, how long ago did they come? They said, oh, they came a quarter to six, quarter to six, quarter to six. So this one I wanted to get a little earlier than that to beat that guy if he, if he would have just came to this one. This community, is the whole, this community still didn't start till 8 o'clock, but <laughs> I got there like at 5.30 and started hunting around. And I started founding stuff, and there was people there already. So um, I was, it was, I was, I had a good vibes about it. But then this guy pulled out from behind me, um, and he just kept following me. And I'm like, why is he following me? And then I, I went to a up to a cul-de-sac and was starting to turn. And then he just cut in front of me and honked his horn really loud. And he said, "What are you doing?" I'm like, uh, "I'm garage selling." Um, hello <laughs> uh, and he just uh like no i don't think that's what you're doing what are you doing what are you doing i was like i'm just garage selling luckily at this point in time the two people that were outside they were actually hosting a yard sale they came up to him and said you know we would appreciate it if you didn't honk your horn um because uh people were trying to sleep he's like get he's like get the f out of my way i'm talking to this person and uh I guess they got irritated with him and they started arguing amongst themselves and I was just kind of like sitting there wondering what's going on um, and then one of the people that came up uh, came out told me is like oh what's up what's going on oh I'm like oh I'm just checking out the community cell here I uh, know is there there's a community cell here right and he's like yeah you're welcome here you're welcome here and I was like okay I guess that guy has a problem or something I'm just trying to mind my own business and go to garage sales and said, so just go ahead and take off um well uh, the other guy didn't want to let me go, so what they did was they grabbed the guy because they had, he had his window open for some reason. They grabbed the guy, and then he couldn't steer or anything. He couldn't go, so I went around him and left, and I don't know what happened after that. So really crazy. I don't know what the problem with it was. He's think, I think he was a little drunk. I, don't, I mean, otherwise, I don't know why he would have an issue. I mean, maybe he was patrolling and I, I'm, all, I'm all for neighborhood watch and protection and all that stuff, um, but um, I mean... If, and he saw me come from a garage so too so I'm like I don't really get what's going on but um, I am all for the security thing if that's what he's doing you know a great job um, but uh, I wouldn't have honked I wouldn't have cussed at, at the neighborhood people that are in your neighborhood because I mean you could lose your job or something I don't know dude but it was weird and I'm just glad that was uh, the that was over with um, I actually was tempted to leave but I'm glad I didn't because I would have missed out a lot of these deals so anyways enough about that it's time for the pickup video um, and I have a couple uh, that were off cam and I'm gonna start showing you those real quick um, these three games uh, <clears throat> they were out and I just you know how much do you want per game and she said uh, 50 cents each so I was like okay so I got we play splinter cell and then Pocahontas the DVD all for a dollar fifty and then at another sale this one wasn't that great uh, he had rock band outside so I was asking do you know have any other video game stuff he pulled these two out uh, ratchet and clank future tools of destruction and then Resident Evil 5 uh, he said eight bucks for both of them so I mean that's okay it's not great but um, it's a pretty good deal also off cam was in this one there was this was an Asian woman uh, she had a bunch of anime and I was really interested but a lot of it wasn't uh, 
dubbed. It was a sub. It was uh, the Japanese actual DVD. Um, I don't know if that was region locked or anything, so that's why I stayed away from that. I did get uh, Tenchi Forever, the movie, because this was dubbed. So I don't think this would be a region locked. Um, and I got two GameCube games that she had there. I asked if she had any more. She said she don't. She didn't. Uh, uh, drum Racers. I don't have this GameCube game, so really happy. And another one I didn't have is Powerpuff Girls or Relish Rampage. And it's a pickled edition. Um, didn't have that one. I had it before, and the, end, the disc ended up being broken. So um, really happy to get it again. Add two more games to my GameCube collection. Um, and then another sale I wanted to show you guys is... The um, first thing I saw was this Wii. Was this game, Wii Fit. Um, and it came with the Wii Fit board and box. Let me show you that real quick. And this Wii Fit board is like new. Not used at all. So I was really happy to find that because I needed a Wii Fit board. So this will be my Wii Fit board for uh, just to have. Because they're usually very dirty. They're usually very dirty and extremely dirty. So really glad that it wasn't. And then this. So it has had $5. And I just asked, you know, does that include the board? And she said yes. So both of those, the board and that was $5. And then I just I went up and talked to the husband who's there. And he's like, yo, you know, I'm just looking for video game stuff. And he's like, oh, what what type are you looking for? I'm like, you know, anything like Game Boy, GameCube. He's like, I think I have Game Boy. Uh, he went inside his garage and pulled it out. And um, he was just like, you know, I don't want to part with it, I don't think. But uh, if you if you see any games you don't that you might want, uh, you can buy those if you want. So I looked in there, and the first game I saw was uh, Mario, and he didn't want to let that go. And then he, I saw DuckTales, he didn't want to let that go. But then I pointed at uh, Gargoyles, Qu Gargoyles Quest, um, and I was just like, you know, how about that one? He's like, oh yeah, I don't play that one anymore. So I got that one, and then I got Alleyway. Those are the two that he would let go, and then he said five bucks for both, and I was like, yep, do that. And as, I, as you all know, Gargoyles Quest is a sought-after game. It goes for like 20 18 to 20 so um, I didn't have it so really happy to get it um, and I am looking for the Super Nintendo game uh, I might want to trade for it in the future I'm gonna and for those of you that have been talking about uh, trading I do trade um, I just um, most of the time I pre-record these so usually when I by the time I upload it the stuff is gone um, I'm not trying to be rude or not answer your comments or anything. Um, it's just uh, usually they're gone. So what I'm going to do is um, in a future video, I'm going to post a, a trade video. And in that video, I'm going to show everything I have to offer for trades. And then I'm going to give you a list of stuff I'm looking for or, you know, like always GameCube, Super Nintendo. Or, I mean, it, also if, on Instagram, if you follow me there, you can just comment on there. Uh, if you've seen a video or um, if you see something, a picture that I've had on there and uh, if you see something you're interested in, just go ahead and uh, message me there because I usually post them the day I get them there so um, we can work out a trade there so again be sure to check out my Instagram Grimsy Finds uh, at Grimsy Raider on Instagram uh, for that stuff but again I will be doing a video here on YouTube for trades and again I'm sorry I really apologize for not responding to those trade offers I again I just most of the time I don't have them anymore but um, I will try to uh, post the video soon, all right? Um, and then another find, this one was on camera. This one was uh, in car in this find, in this sale uh, video. Um, uh, it was really, really early. That's the reason I didn't record the footage there. I had my phone out, and then I looked at the footage. It was just all black, so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do this, so I just picked the, the in-car footage. Um, uh and I went to the sale several times just to see if they would get anything else, and they didn't, so. Um, uh, it was, like, the first sale I found, and I was just, like, I just walked up to him. Was, he was selling a bunch of rate records, some, a bunch of vinyl. Um, I didn't really look at that. I don't have a vinyl player, so I wasn't really interested in that. But um, he said, oh, I also have DS games. So he showed me the DS games. And they were all pretty much priced. As you can see, like, this Kirby game was 10 bucks. Some of them said 15 and I was like already ready to walk away and he's like, you know what? Just give me 40 for all of it and it's yours um, And then I, I thought about it and then it was a, it's a pretty decent stack of DS games So I was just like, you know what? I'll think I'll do that. So um, I paid him 40 bucks and left uh, The start to start showing you the games uh, monster jam uh, urban assault Didn't have this one uh, Battle of the Giants dragons. It's by Ubisoft Didn't have that one I think I have this one, Spore Creatures. I think I have this one, Super Scribble Knots. I'm not sure though. Kirby Superstar Ultra. 
Mario Sonic and the Olympic Games. Another Mario Party DS. Mario Kart DS. Didn't see that price on there. Uh, Pokemon Black. This is one I went to 15. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Another one with 15. And then uh, Pokemon Platinum Version. Another one with 15. So as you can see, I could easily make my money back with this and uh, keep one or two games, that, which I'm probably going to do. Um, and again, it was a pretty decent stack, so 40 bucks, I I, um, I went ahead and do it. And that goes to show you guys, like, even if they have high prices, even if they have high prices, they're usually sometimes able to haggle or deal, deal with you to take them. Because most of the time, they just want to get rid of this stuff, especially at a yard sale. So, um, I found a Wii. And uh, the Wii was, uh, this was kind of weird because their, their hill, their home was up a hill, a little bit, a little hill. And they brought all the stuff down next to their mailbox. So I just drove by. And I like those because you can see everything pretty much when you drive by. So I drove by and I saw a Wii. And then I just got off and asked how much it wanted for the Wii. And they said, oh, 20 bucks. And they said 25 bucks. And they also saw some board games. So I got the board games and then I saw the Wii. And I was like, you know, I don't. they had a balance board. And it was really dirty. And I was just like, you know... Uh, if you take the balance board off, would you do 20? And she's like, you know, I don't want to just leave the board because what am I going to do with the board? But she's like, I'll take 20 for with, with the board. And I was like, okay, I'll do that then. And then she said 50 cents each for the board game. So let me show you the board games. She said they're all complete. I really hope they are. Scrabble cross sword uh, game. She said all the pieces are there. And then this one I got because it was factory sealed. Uh, Rumi Cube. So it's factory sealed. And it looks really old. Let's see what the date is. There's no date. Yeah, there's no date. But uh, this is factory sealed. And it looks really old. Um, and then the actual Wii. And the reason I got the Wii was because of the controllers that came with it. So here's the Wii. It actually has the battery doors. And I really hope it works. But uh, that was nice that it actually uh, came with the doors. Because normally they don't anymore. And then it came with two nunchucks. That's one of the reasons. And then the other reason is because it came with two Wiimotes. So, two Wiimotes. And then it came with the Wii U Draw. The Wii Draw. draw the Wii Draw tablet. I Draw tablet. Came with the pen and everything. And then. And then it came with Wii Sports. Active. Yay, active. We play game party Pictionary You draw studio and then we fit. So again the main reason I got it was for the controllers. Really happy to get that. And then the Wii looked like it was an overall good shape. So if you ask me if you ask me that was a pretty decent score. Second to last sale. Um Mind you, this was um, around like 9 o'clock. I was looking through the toys. Um, there were some Star Wars toys. I was like, okay, I think I'm going to get those. Um, I'm not a toy collector at all. Um, I know some Star Wars uh, toys have value. Um, and I hate to say that's the reason I bought them, but that's the reason I bought them. I didn't know. They look really old, so I'm like, okay, maybe they have value. Um, don't get me wrong. They look cool. And I mean, if they don't, if I don't sell them, they'll be a cool display piece. Um, and as you can see, I think I, I have R2-D2 still up here. Um, if anyone's interested in that, um, and, um, for trades or anything. Um, but anyways, I looked through the toys and then I, and I asked him if he had any video game stuff. He's like, yeah, I have a bunch of Xbox and PS2 games. I used to work at GameStop, that's what he said. So, um, okay, I said, okay. Uh, he brought them out. It was a bunch of, a uh, bunch of games. He wasn't lying. It was a ton of them. And I was like, okay, how much do you want per game? He said 50 cents each. I'm like, okay, that's great. Um, and then I guess... When I, I made the final um, arrangements of what I wanted, he raised the price. I don't know why. But I, it was $40 for the Xbox games and the PS2 games and then the, um, the toys. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So I went ahead and did that because he said 50 at first. I haggled down to 40 And then I did that and left. So um, let me start showing you the toys. The first one that caught my eye was this uh, Millennium Falcon. Again, I don't know if these are worth anything. It looks old. But I don't know. I don't know if this is worth anything. It's probably not. I mean, again, it could be a cool display piece. Or if anyone's interested in this, just let me know. I do not collect toys at all. So Amiibo is the farthest I go in toy collecting. And then there's this one. I do not know what this is. But um, yeah, 
I think it's missing the cover, unfortunately. They're not they're not in horrible shape, but they're obviously in used condition. Uh this looks like a Power Ranger thing, so that that's probably not Star Wars. <laughs> there is uh oh okay, Dark Vader helmet thing. And uh apparently here is the uh Here's the missing uh, thing for the other thing, for the hatch. Uh, this looks like some sort of field for the Star Wars toys. Uh, thing, don't really know what that is. There's this thing. I don't really know what this is. It looks cool. <laughs> fighter this is cool this is really cool that's cool that's a couple of um little walkers there's there's more in the in the box but uh pretty much these are all the big ones so that was really cool seeing all that again that was pretty much a throw-in because i mean if it, if it helps me make more of my money back great i mean if i don't sell it then great because i get to keep some of it and just display it um but um really cool Again, not my loss, not a loss at all, because I can definitely make my money back with the games and keep some of the games. Um, but um, really cool. If anyone's interested in the toys, I will probably keep them for a while. So um, if you're interested, let me know. Um, if I did get rid of them before this video is posted, I will put it here so you guys don't, so you guys know that it's gone. Um, and then. Uh, so let's just start with the PS2 Xbox games. He did have one Dreamcast game, Power Stone. So I was really happy with that. Um, it plays, so it's great. It's a little scratch, though. Uh, the PS2 games, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. He had two copies. I don't know why. He said he worked at GameStop, so I'm sure he got these a lot for cheap. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. And then the GameCube game, Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. That was cool. I don't think I have that one. I think I have the other one. And then, um, Metal Tin Collector's Edition of Halo 2. And then one N64 game. And I asked if he had any more. He's like, no, I don't. Uh, Killer Instinct. So I don't know if someone traded that in and he bought it or something. I don't know. I don't know how he came across that one. Uh, two disc only games. Uh, MX ATV Unleashed and then M NBA 2K6. Those are the only ones that were disc only. Everything else is complete in box. So let me show you that. A lot of Star Wars games. Star Wars Jedi Outcast. Crimson Skies. A lot of these I didn't have, so I was happy about that. Flat Out. Star Wars Battlefront. So that one's going to make some of my money back. Dead Man's Hand. Red Dead Revolver. Gun. Call of Duty 2, Halo, uh, Far Cry Evolution, Commando Strike Force, Batman Begins, uh, Splinter Cell, Chaos Theory, Collector's Edition, Steel Case thing, Star Wars Battlefront 2, so more that's my money back pretty much. Uh, helps get my like half of my money back. Uh, American Shopper. From Russia with Love 007, The Sims Busting Out, Project Gotham 2, rest are all the Xbox, Far Cry Instinct, Dark Watch, happy to get this one because the one I had purchased before was a fake printout of the label, so this one's authentic for sure, Grand Theft Auto 3, Star Wars Episode 3, uh, Heroes of the Pacific, Tony Hawk's Underground 2, Lego Star Wars 2, Sniper Elite, Star uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight Academy, Jedi Knight Academy, Trans World Surf, still recording. Mercenaries Playground and Destruction, Playboy the Mansion, Conflict Desert Storm Two, Jaws Unleashed, and last four games here, uh, Fight Night 2004, Bruce Lee Quest of the Dragon. Another Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and then Fable. So all those, and the Star Wars toys were $40. Okay, last sale. 
This one made the day for me. I was I was extremely ecstatic to find it. Um, because I mean, you always whenever you go to a yard sale, you at least want to find one Nintendo item. So uh, I found the Game Boy games, but and the Wii, but that wasn't enough for me. So I just went up to a sale, asked him if they had any video games. He had them in a box, a beer box, and I just you know how much you want for it. Um, he's like, you know, I I looked these up uh, like last night because I was debating to sell them, and uh, I know I know how much they go for. So, I mean, I didn't wasn't trying to insult him when he said make me an offer. I said, 40 bucks. I hate making offers. I hate making the first offer. And normally, they know what they want, so I wish they would just tell you their ballpark. But um, I was like, 40 bucks. He's like, nope. Uh, the only thing, the lowest I would take is 50. I said, yep, that's fine. So I paid him 50 and took off. I didn't really look at the box, so I was really happy that I just left because there was someone else. As I'm on my way out, they're like, oh, you just bought that uh, N64? I'm like, yeah. I was like, damn it, I just missed it. So that if I had not if I had been five minutes late, I'm sure that person would have asked him and he would have got it. So I was really happy that I got this. Um, came with two controllers for the N64. And there was a little surprise, too. I'm going to let you know in a little bit. Uh, two controllers. And then the 64 itself. came with no uh, expansion pack and then it came with six game it came with seven games hey you Pikachu I don't think I have that anymore so really happy to get that one back Mickey Speedway USA I think I have that one uh, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire Perfect Dark Star Wars Rogue Squadron Super Mario 64 and then Toy Story 2 those were all the games for the 64 not a great number of uh, games but uh, again I was happy to find a Nintendo 64 the surprise was when I made the offer I didn't know there was a Genesis also underneath <laughs> so I was like really surprised that it was there um, two controllers for the Genesis one is the official three button and then the other one's a super pad with six button so Again, I was really shocked to see the, the Sega Genesis, so I think maybe he mentioned it, but I wasn't really paying attention, I think. He might have mentioned it, and um, I might have not caught on to what he was saying. It was a Model 2. Model 1, Sega Genesis. Overall, decent shape. I'm sure it'll work. It came with all the plugs, and then it came with... Uh, Five games, six games. So let's see. La La Russia Baseball '95, uh, Mortal Kombat 2, EA Sports PGA European Tour, uh, World Series Baseball, Star Trek, and then the one I didn't have, Mutant League Football. So I'm probably gonna keep this one. So, for perfect uh, score to end that day, I was really happy that the Genesis was there. Um, so, it definitely was a great score for 50 bucks. Um, again, uh, please check out my Instagram. Uh, there you will find the pickups I get the day I get them. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Grimsy Finds out.